What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Does It Suck? This time around, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new arrival, a $30 AirPods replica. For $30, you know, how good can it possibly be? How bad can it be? Let's go ahead and take a look. So if you guys remember on this channel, I've already shown you a couple different types of AirPods replicas, and they weren't that great. Uh, one pair didn't even match up. You couldn't use two at the same time. It was really, really thick. The other looked nothing like AirPods. So this time around, this new arrival actually is a one-to-one one replica of the real deal so it's got that going for it they're trying to completely replicate apple's experience for thirty dollars i believe it's like 28 dollars actually so how bad can it possibly be let's let's check it out 28 bucks not that much like a week of eating out you know wouldn't you rather have a nice pair of apple airpods well, i don't even know what these are they're hbq 2.1s or 4.1s i forgot uh, i'll leave a link down below if you guys really want to check them out but i'm just kind of curious for the price tag, how good can it be? From the pictures, it looks pretty similar, actually. So, uh, actually, even the experience looks to be similar. The box actually matches up with the real deal here. So, they've got that right. All right, so here it is, the uh, Apple AirPods. So, the packaging comes upside down already. That's a good sign. Okay, uh, pretty close, straight out of the box, just like that, not too bad. Um, if I flip them over, you wouldn't really be able to tell that they're fake from the packaging alone. It's called <laughs> iFans instead of AirPods. I guess these are iFans, $30 iFans, nice. Uh, with charging case. Other than that, pretty similar. No Apple logos anywhere, no AirPods. So if you guys are uh, receiving some of these in the mail, know that they don't have any logos suggesting that they're Apple AirPods. All right, let's go ahead and get these unboxed and check them out. All right, so let's get these real ones out of the way. It's time for the Chinese version to shine here. Oh my gosh, wow, the pictures really did not portray how big, <laughs> oh my goodness, what in the world? So little uh, perspective for you guys. They're the same size, right? Nope, look at that. That is like twice as big, oh, oh my gosh. What in the world? I was not expecting that. That gave me a good laugh. Wow. So they're trying to replicate the Apple AirPod experience, but these things are chunky. Like, wow, it's like a little hand grenade. Uh, all wrapped in blue. Definitely not an experience Apple wants you to go through when you get a new product. You gotta start peeling away at all this crap. Uh, but the case, <laughs> from a distance, it does look similar. Okay, yeah, once I get all this off, I guess we will be able to see that. It does have the same uh, white color. White look, you can get them in multiple colors though. Look at me guys, I got AirPods for $30, but you're, but you're envious right now. Okay, got all that crap off. So, <laughs> wow, I, I feel like this is like a, a prank. You take somebody's AirPods and replace them with this, that's just hilarious. It's the same design, it's just magnified. Like this thing was shrunk in the uh, shrinking machine. It does have a button here, very similar one to the real one. It doesn't have the text below, so the design in Apple text is missing there. Otherwise, it does look the same here, same color. So let's go ahead and open these up. Oh wow, that is not a good opening experience. That hinge, not that great. Okay, otherwise here are the AirPods. I got some dust all over mine, very nice. Actually, uh, they're, they're thick, but they're not that bad. They are labeled left and right. So at least this one comes with a pair that you can use. You know, that's that's a great improvement as is. So the way that this works, oh wow. So they did copy Apple with that. You actually just charge them by popping them back into the case and it is magnetically attached, so it doesn't like fall out or anything. So that's cool that they copied that. Inside, there are little terminals in there, so uh, you would be able to charge them straight in there. They've got a little charging light as well. Let me go get a charger so we can check that out. It does charge with a genuine Apple cable, which is cool. It does have the blinking green light, much like the original. So I'm liking the fact that they copy these little details. It doesn't use an aftermarket uh, plug and you don't have to individually plug these in like you did on the last version. So that's an improvement already. Case is there. Um, I'm very curious about what the size of the batteries are in here, but I definitely will never find out. So actually pairing these, oh man, what a process this is gonna be. So these don't have LEDs on them, I don't believe. So you can't really even tell when they're on or not. Um, but the way that it works is you have to pair one, then the other, and it's a process. It is a little process here but I'm gonna go ahead and get them paired up. If it comes with instructions even, I hope it does, oh yeah. 
comes with a lightning cable and some instructions. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up and now let's talk about sound quality. Seriously, what the flip is this? I, I, <laughs> this is written in English yet I can't understand it. Let me read this to you guys. Pairing mode, long press the boot blue light flash is the ordinary pairing mode. Do not release after starting to continue to press the three seconds to red and blue lights alternately flashing. <laughs> what? I don't understand. I'm just gonna wing it and see if I can connect it without continuing to press the three after not releasing. Let's let's see if we got this. All right, so I'm guessing that you do it with the button on the back. There's buttons on the AirPods themselves and on the back. I'm not really sure which one, it just says to do the button. Um, I'll report back in a little if I can get this to work. Check that out. There actually is a blinking blue LED, which is kind of cool. It, it, I didn't see a hole for it. It's just hidden within the plastic. Um, funny thing is this thing actually shows up as a fans up top. Um, it's not even iFans anymore. Now there's a new name called AFANS. Alrighty. All right, so surprisingly, that was very easy to pair. I'll, I'll actually explain it because it's kind of interesting. The last pair didn't work this way. So you pair one in the Bluetooth settings and it connects. And then you turn the other one on and instead of connecting to your phone, it does show up in the Bluetooth menu. It automatically pairs with this guy. So these guys work together and then one of them pairs with your phone. So very interesting, a, a take on how to get them both to pair being separate devices without actually integrating with iOS. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, now for the sound quality. Okay, so uh, let's turn on something recent here. Honestly, I've been in love with Jeezy's new stuff. Him and I, awesome song. All right, here we go. So about a third, it's a little muddled. Um, it's quiet, but I am in a quiet room. So I'm gonna turn it up halfway here. Not bad, all right and uh, all the way. It does get loud to where I do need to turn it down. Like it, it actually does produce very similar loudness, not clarity, but loudness to the uh, original AirPods. I am genuinely a little uh, impressed right now. These do fit a little bit better. They're a little chunkier than the real deal. If I pull one out, will it know and pause? No, it does not. I wonder if pressing the button will make it pause. Oh, it does. And then uh, start again, cool. Double tap, skip a song. No, it does not. Three, uh, three, just pauses. Yeah, it just basically pause, unpause, pause. So for one command, not bad, let me hold it. What happens if I hold it? It just pauses and turns off. Goodbye, it said goodbye in my ear. All right, Siri. And then if I turn it back on, I'm just wondering, uh, will the phone automatically pair to it? No, you have to go back in and repair inside of your Bluetooth settings. It doesn't automatically repair every single time. So that's gonna get annoying. It doesn't have the convenience of just tapping it against your case and having it be connected. You would think that it would with so much space inside, they would add a bunch of antennas to make that work, but you need the software control. All right, so I am genuinely impressed. I'm listening right now. Uh, it does filter the sound pretty well, so I can't really hear what's going on outside of it. I'd have to say definitely the best pair of fake AirPods I've tested so far. Uh, they get the design right, they're pretty compact. So obviously a little bit bigger than the real deal. Like it's honestly not huge, still chunkier obviously. So sound quality isn't as good, but I'm about a fifth of the price of genuine AirPods. That's very impressive. Fifth going on a sixth of the price. So I don't know about the battery life, that's yet to be seen, but it says here uh, it charges one to two hours, standby time of 130 hours, and actually listening to music. Listening to music is two and a half hours. And if that's true, very impressive. The real deal is four hours on a single charge. So, you know, I'm definitely blown away the fact that these aren't as crappy as I thought they would. It's just kind of funny, like, hey, let me whip out my AirPods, literally dig in your pocket, grab a handful and like, ah, here we go. Did it sneak into my enlargement machine again? All right guys, so shoot. there it is, the AirPods, best attempt yet. I think uh, one more revision and we'll get there, but seriously, $30, $28, not bad at all. Just the case is kind of funny. Otherwise, uh, you do get the same box packaging. 
You know, if you want the quality, I would say bar none, Apple is the way to go. It'll seamlessly connect to your phone. They get software updates, you get custom commands. You know, it's just not comparable to this. It's worth spending the money on this. And this is like my favorite Apple product period right now, aside from the 10. So uh, I'm not even comparing it to this, just like as a standalone product for $28, it's all right. You can get better for sure with uh, Bluetooth, the alternatives out there, but this is trying to mimic something more expensive. It's just so far funny how big this was. I, I literally was not expecting them. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Funny little video. AirPods clone. Would I recommend it? It's, it's all right. Maybe, sure. I mean, if you really, really don't want to spend the money on this, why not? But, uh, you know, you'll get infinitely better experience with the real ones. If you guys really don't care, you know, grab one of these, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.